Hello, my friends. It's Nick, the ASMR nerd, and welcome to another relaxing drive in Forza Horizon 4. It's been quite a while since I've done one of these, but I still get pretty regular requests for another, so I thought, why the heck not? Let's do one. It is the summer season, and I thought that it would be nice to take a little drive up through the Scottish Highlands today, up through Glen Rannoch, and then maybe head over to Edinburgh, and if time allows, take a cruise out to the seaside. I think that'd be a really nice summery drive, so we'll just have to see how it goes. Today I'm driving the Alfa Romeo 4C, which is one of my personal favorite cars. Uh, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I must admit, I've never driven one myself, but uh, I have seen a few of them in person, and they are just stunning. Uh, most alphas are pretty stunning, honestly, but uh, the 4C is just such an incredible design. So that's what we're going to be cruising in today. So you can just sit back, relax, and enjoy the drive. Let's head out. Hit the road. I've always loved the sound of gravel crunching under tires. It's a really appealing sound to me. I'll try and keep the revs pretty low so that the engine sound isn't too in your, in your face. The uh, turbocharged four-cylinder in this thing can get a little loud, a little abrasive at high revs. But I want you to be able to enjoy just all the sounds of the road, you know, the tires on the pavement, you know, the crunching gravel if we're going off-road, which I think we will today. The wind whistling past. Those of you familiar with the other previous uh, Forza Horizon drives on my channel will know that I like to take it pretty darn slow. I like to keep it really chill. Just nice and relaxed. We're at uh, the northern end of, uh, I think it's called Derwent Water. It's a lake, a big lake along the western side of the map in this game. And uh, I've got a house situated at the northern end of that lake. That's where we started off today. I normally drive with my uh, wheel and pedals. You might remember that 
from previous videos. I've got a Logitech G25 with uh, pedals and an H shifter. And I do like using that, but I don't have it set up right now. And it's a bit of a pain in the butt to do so. Ooh. You guys ready to get a little bit wet? <laughs> I like that, how you get the little droplets on the lens. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to set up uh, the wheel and pedals and all that, so I'm just using my Xbox One controller today, which I'm not used to using, so I struggle a little bit shifting. Oops, just gonna try and show you the hillsides here. If I struggle a little bit, that's why. Uh, we've got a gorgeous trestle up ahead here. And with any luck, we will get to see the train going over. believe that this uh, trestle bridge is supposed to be the same one <laughs> featured in the Harry Potter films that the Hogwarts Express goes over. I can't remember what it's called in real life, but I think that's what this is modeled after. Looking like we probably won't get to see the train this time. But that's the brakes. Unfortunately, I can turn off almost all the UI except for these pop ups in world here for various trails and such. Races, specifically, I guess, is what those are for. <laughs> We're cruising pretty slow. It feels faster in the bumper cam view, doesn't it? That's okay. We're not here to get anywhere in a hurry. We're just here to enjoy the scenery, enjoy the beautiful car, and have a nice cruise. There is a great deal of beautiful scenery in this game. Oh, you can hear the train. Let's see if we can see it behind us. There it is. And we've also got a, a mini behind us. It's flashing its lights at us because it wants us to go faster. That's too bad, but you can pass if you want. For the record, this is not how I drive IRL. <laughs> I'm not one of those drivers. Oh, speed camera. It would have clocked us going very slow. Yeah, this game is just bloody gorgeous. It, honestly, for, uh, you know, it's what? Coming up on two years this fall, I guess. Uh, it is still, for my money, one of the best looking games out there. All right, let's uh, pause for a second here. So we have a choice. Uh, we can uh, keep cruising along the road. What happened to the guys behind me? Oh, they're very, very courteously waiting 
we will get out of their way here. Let's uh, head off to the right and uh, do a little off-roading. Which is really not what this car is made for, not in the least. Oh, I like that sound. Uh, the Alpha 4C is a sports car through and through. It is uh, zippy and nimble and really made for... Uh, let's gear down here just a bit. Um, you know, made for hugging the corners through hairpin turns and enjoying a you know, fun, challenging drive um, on asphalt, <laughs> not on gravel, but that's okay. We're going slow enough that it's not a problem. I love that sound, the sound of the gravel from inside the cabin. Finnan Viaduct, that is the name of that bridge, that trestle. So we're really going up into the, the highlands now. We'll come out on top of a ridge here. Getting a mite dusty, aren't we? Just a wee bit, though. Honestly, the way they do the dust on the windshield, like it's kind of adhering to where the water droplets were, right? Incredibly, incredibly detailed and realistic. It's quite remarkable, honestly. that engine a little bit. Oh, there's a fast travel sign that I haven't hit up there. <laughs> I'll have to get that one of these days. Truth be told, uh, I've not been playing Forza Horizon 4 much at all since I last recorded one of these videos. Um, I've just been playing other things. But, uh, I think I'm gonna get back into it. I've been feeling the the urge to drive some cars fast lately. <laughs> Maybe something to do with being cooped up inside for quite a while here. But I, hopefully this video is a little bit of fantasy wish fulfillment for you if you've been cooped up inside. This is a nice opportunity to take a virtual road trip. Right. See some different scenery. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's why I want to play again. Previously, I also uh, I didn't actually have the expansions for this game, but uh, I just picked those up. They were on sale, like fifty percent off. So. One of them is uh, what they call Fortune Isle, or Fortune Island, I think. Which is a sort of a self-contained landmass that I actually haven't checked out yet. Let's pull over here, enjoy the view for a moment. Here we go. Lovely view back down the valley. You can 
can really hear the wind up here. I like all the little floaties going past. I don't know what kind of plant they're supposed to be from. They look a little bit like like dandelion a fluff, but I'm not sure if that's what they are. Our car has gotten a little dusty going up the the gravel trail there, but that's nothing that a good wash won't fix. I would be quite hesitant <laughs> to, to do this with a real alpha. But. All right. Shall we carry on? So yeah, one of them is, is Fortune Island, and the other is uh, <laughs> the Lego Racers expansion, <laughs> where uh, you drive a bunch of Lego cars in a Lego land, and uh, of course I have not tried that out yet either. It looks charming, although maybe not exactly what I'm looking for out of my Forza Horizon 4, but I think it'll be fun. Gorgeous view down there, look at that. I believe that is Derwent Water. So we actually started off just down on the north end there. Absolutely lovely looking game. And each season looks beautiful in its own way, you know? The summer is gorgeous and sunny. These warm sunsets. The blue skies, although not totally blue right now. A little cloudy. The fall is gorgeous and golden and crisp. Spring is lush and green, wildflowers everywhere. Of course, the winter time is blanketed in a cloak of snow. So you can see off in the distance there, you can see a bit of Edinburgh, and you can see Arthur's Seat, I believe, is the name of that kind of uh, hill in the far distance, on the left side of the screen. Uh, if I can figure out how to get there, maybe we'll go up it. I could just listen to that sound all day. <laughs> it sounds a lot like rain, actually, doesn't it? You could close your eyes and just imagine that it's rain drumming on the rooftop. Oh, are you guys ready for another little splash here? Here we go. here, don't we? Oops. A little more rev than I intended. I'd hoped that going through the water would <laughs> clean off our car, but it's not quite. Not quite. Still a wee bit dusty, although not bad. We're technically supposed to yield here, but 
Eh, we're fine. I would love to visit Scotland one day. I've been to England, but I've never been to Scotland or, or Ireland. I'd love to spend time in all those places, honestly. The countryside is very lovely, very pastoral and picturesque. Okay. So we've got a sign up here. It's going to tell us Express North Railroad, a rail yard in Edinburgh this way. So let's hang a left. It's a gorgeous summery day in Forza Horizon 4, isn't it? so funny. It feels so much faster in the bumper cam. And when you get out here to the chase cam, you realize how slow we're going. Oh, that's somebody drifting around a corner in a car I did not recognize. Maybe if you recognized it from that quick view, you can let me know in the comments down below. Gorgeous oak forest, it looks like, to the left of us here. Looks deep and shady. Yes, this is an online game, so you do get other people cruising by. That's just the nature of it. Sometimes it can be a bit problematic when I'm trying to record like this, but so far so good. It is possible to go offline and play in your own offline instance of the map, but then it populates the world with very aggressive AI drivers who are actually, in my opinion, more problematic than the real life drivers. <laughs> they are more numerous and uh, they drive just as crazy. You can see a uh, bit of Edinburgh in the distance there. That might be Edinburgh Castle. That would be my guess, at least. The sign there suggests we're still on the right path. City center, straight through the upcoming roundabout. I kind of had fun driving by the signage. <laughs> like, I obviously don't have the map turned on right now. Uh, but it kind of makes it feel more like a legit road trip if you try and read the signs, you know? City Centre. Welcome to Edinburgh. So now we start to see the quaint old row houses. And soon we'll get into the, the downtown core.
Looks like a streetcar or a train of some kind over there. Let's go back to the bumper cam. Oh, there goes another player. <laughs> Just burning out across the intersection and knocking over a telephone pole. We'll try and avoid that. Ooh, maybe we clipped it. Uh, which way do we want to go? Let's go... Sure, this way. Oh, another player up ahead. They appear to be driving a little less crazy. As a matter of the fact, if it wasn't f for the fact that they are on the wrong side of the road, I would go so far as to say they are <laughs> being quite law-abiding. Why don't we hang right here? So yes, I do believe that is Edinburgh Castle up there. Although, I am certainly no expert on the layout of this city. Is that the same? It's the same guy. <laughs> I think. I love the detail they've put into the city. Like, all the signs coffee house there, there was burgers. There's quite a variety of signage. It feels incredibly authentic. That person's looking a little confused. Another player car there. More players around than I anticipated seeing, actually. If I'm being truthful, I am a wee bit lost right now. Oh man, another player. <laughs> what do you think they're driving in there? That sounded like it was at least partially electric. It sounded kind of like the Aston Martin Valkyrie, but I don't think it was. There are so many cars in this game, you guys. I don't know what the, the current count is, but I think it's gotta be over 400. And they are all just lovingly modeled, just like this Alfa Romeo. Uh, honestly, they're gorgeous. So I think that I've kind of gotten turned around here. My original plan was to <laughs> maybe head to Arthur's Seat or go to the seaside, but I'm pretty sure we kind of turned around and we're actually headed back sort of the way we came now. <laughs> yeah, like if you look up there, those are the, the hills we drove over. So why don't we take our next left? and see if we can head to the coast. I'd like to do that. Yes, I think we went very much the wrong way. Took one too many right turns. That's okay though, honestly. Lakehurst Forest to the left, okay. All right. Let's go that way. 
We don't really have much of a goal here. We're just... Just cruising. Somewhat aimlessly, but sometimes an aimless drive is really nice, actually. Just getting in a car and seeing where the road takes you. When I travel in other countries, I often like to rent a car for that reason. Because it gives you a level of freedom that you just don't get otherwise. You can just jump in and see what's what's neat, what's cool. You know, you maybe want to have some sort of plan for where you want to go, but sometimes it's fun to just explore. I've been waiting for another left turn for quite a while and I haven't seen one but it looks like we're about to approach a traffic circle so let's see what the signage says oh maybe not a traffic circle okay Derwent Reservoir I don't think we want to go that way We're just uh, on an adventure to who knows where. I think we're quite a bit further south than I had intended. We kind of had went back west and then turned south. But I would like to go east. And we've not had the opportunity. Although I'm sure we will. Here we go. What's this? Derwent Reservoir Dam. One way. That way. Or back to Edinburgh. This way. <laughs> well, let's see. Let's uh, head back towards Edinburgh. And I'm sure we'll find a way to the seaside in that direction. You guys get a nice lengthy video out of it because I got lost. We've been in that view for a while. Let's, uh, Let's do some hood cam again. I do hope you're finding this relaxing. Taking a relaxing, aimless drive. Honestly, I don't know why I haven't made another one of these sooner. <laughs> I guess I just, uh, I guess I was just preoccupied with other things. And I, like I said, I wasn't really playing the game, so. just wasn't in the forefront of my mind. Very bucolic out here. 
lovely farmer's fields. I do think if I'm going to start playing the game again for real, I will hook up my wheel and pedals again. It's a more engaging way to play, for sure. Okay, what's that in the far distance? Oh, did you guys just hear? I thought I heard a train off to our, our left there somewhere. I hear it, but I don't see it. Oh, right there. Yeah, you guys. That's nice. It makes me think of Thomas the Tank Engine on the Isle of Sodor. I watched a lot of Thomas the Tank Engine as a kid. Uh, whoa, see ya, friend. Looks like he was driving a Camaro. Just drove right through us. Uh, I would always watch the British version of Thomas the Tank Engine. The conductor was Ringo Starr. So, I love that because I also love the Beatles as a kid. My mom listened to the Beatles a lot. Alright, city center straight ahead. City bypass to the left and Glen Rannick. Well, well, that's where we came from. The South Bamberg to the right. I think that's a big old highway. Like a freeway. I don't think we actually want to take that freeway, though. It heads south. So we'll continue on the way to Edinburgh City Center. And then we'll look for another exit. Okay, we've entered the Edinburgh city limits again. After a little bit of a detour. We haven't used this view very much. This is the the driver view, I guess. Without the steering wheel. Okay. So here, I think, we have a chance to head west. How far west do we want to take this sharp right? Sure. Hopefully this is not the route we took previously. <laughs> Maybe we're going in circles, I don't know. I think I see Arthur's seat up ahead, so... I do not think we took this route before. There's another fast travel sign I haven't hit yet. I hear many lovely things about Edinburgh. It is a city I would love to visit. in the trees in this view. Oh, there goes someone else. 
The nice thing is that the other players, they'll just phase right through you. They don't really hit you. Yes, here we are. Well, why don't we take a little detour and visit Arthur's seat, go up that hill. Now, I'm not sure what the best way to get over there is. Hopefully this will get us there. Yes, it will. I had some requests to do some Forza Horizon drives in electric vehicles. Um, like the, the Remac, and I think there's a Volkswagen that's all full electric in the game as well. Oops. Uh, I don't have either of those cars, so uh, I couldn't do that, but um, I might see if I can get them now that I'm playing again, and if any of you have suggestions for other cars that might be fun to go for a drive in that might sound a little different or be a little interesting uh, feel free to leave a comment down below a suggestion I'd love to hear your suggestions there's the seaside you guys I think we can get there if we continue this way. I thought this might take us up the hillside, but I don't know that it is. I think we're kind of going adjacent to. Kind of going through the park. I feel like we're reaching the late afternoon here. I've almost been driving all day. Aha, so we wanted to go up Arthur's seat. I think this would be the way to do it. But I think, I think we'll go to the ocean. Too much rev. Again, I'm not used to the, the Xbox controller. How much I have to... Oh, that's annoying. Well, you guys are just gonna have to live with the uh, Forzathon live alert for the next 20 seconds. I turned off all the alerts in the HUD. Somehow that one cannot be disabled, apparently. Hopefully it's not too annoying. Why don't we see what's over here? Want some more of that gravel sound. And this might take us down to the water. That's what I'm hoping. Down to the ocean. You know, I reckon it will. It's a little bit of a bumpy route, but it's nice and direct. Cross under the train bridge. This is very cute. Cute little alleyway. And here we are, my friends. We've arrived at the seaside. Let's find a nice place where we can pull off along the water and enjoy the ocean.
Surely there's got to be a little pull off. I think we found one. <laughs> this is more of a, a pedestrian kind of pull off, but you know what? It's okay. We'll just pretend we're pedestrians. Park right next to this uh, additional fast travel sign, which I have not yet hit. And this litter bin. Well, my friends, uh, we had quite the journey today, didn't we? We started in kind of the morning, I think. We explored Glen Rannoch, the highlands, drove up and over the mountain, spent some time cruising through the bucolic, summery countryside. Uh, ducked into Edinburgh, and then out, and then back in again. Drove past Arthur's seat, back there, and we've ended up at the seaside. With the nice sound of the waves and the wind. I do hope you enjoyed this wander today. I know I certainly did. Uh, I would love to do another one of these, if you would like to see another one of these. So please do let me know down in the comments if you have ideas or suggestions for other cars that I could drive, uh, other routes I could take. As I said, I recently got the Fortune Island expansion, so I'm going to go check out that landmass soon. So maybe I can do a drive there next time. I think that'd be pretty nice. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really do appreciate it. I hope you found this relaxing, and I look very forward to having you back here next time. Bye for now, my friends.